I'm just going to go through some of the UEFI BIOS settings which need to be changed for a successful Windows 7 64-bit installation. This guide focuses primarily on downgrade rights from Windows 10 Professional or Windows 8.1 Professional to Windows 7 Professional. Windows 7 64-bit doesn't support secure boot, so this needs to be disabled. And in order for it to boot properly, you need to enable legacy ROMs. Also, you'll need up-to-date installation media. And I instruct how to make Windows 7 Service Pack 2 bootable USB 3.0 for a UEFI bias in an earlier tutorial video. I'm going to insert this USB stick now and my Dell system will be powered down. As I power up the Dell system, I'm going to press F2 to enter the UEFI bias setup. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the down arrow key until I get to the field that says secure boot and I'm going to press enter to expand it and I'm going to highlight secure boot enable and I'm going to change enable to disabled. This needs to be done because Windows 7 does not support secure boot. I'm also going to go to the advanced boot options and enable legacy ROMs. Now I'm going to check in the boot sequence whether my bootable USB shows and in my case it does so I could just select apply and then exit now if the bootable USB doesn't show in some cases you might just want to select load default and then see if it shows and if it does show then you can simply just select apply and then exit now, in some very rare cases, the bootable USB still won't show, and you'll have to add the boot option manually. So to do this, you need to select Add Boot Option, and then you need to select the Browse button. And to the top, there'll be the File System, and there might be a drop-down button with multiple file systems, FS0, FS1, etc, etc. You'll need to try them one by one if you've got multiple when you don't know what each one are. In my case, I just have the bootable USB and nothing is on the solid state drive yet. So I just have FS0 and therefore I know that this is the bootable USB because nothing else should be bootable in this system. So I'll select FS0 and then to the left, I need to select the EFI folder. And then I need to select the boot folder. And then to the right, I need to select the boot x64.efi file. And then I need to select OK at the bottom. And then at the top, I just need to name this boot device. So I'm just going to name this USB test Win7 and then all I need to do is select OK and then the bootable USB will show. But because I already had the bootable USB at the top, what I'm just going to do is select the new boot option that I just added and delete it. I can now select exit at the bottom and save the changes. This is the UEFI BIOS settings set correctly for a Windows 7 64-bit installation.